Hi there, students. Accoutrements. You can say accoutrement in the singular, but it's much, much more common accoutrements plural. It's nearly always plural. OK, the first main origin and definition, I think, of accoutrements is a soldier's equipment but not including his clothes or his weapons. So, <coughs> so accoutrements is talking about all the extra equipment, his helmet, his gas mask, his rucksack, backpack, his first aid kit. So it's like the extras and accessories of a soldier. Now, you can use accoutrements in the clothing and fashion industry, and I think this is much more common. OK, these are accessories and things that you wear, but they're not the main clothing. They're not your shirt and your trousers. So, for example, accoutrements, a belt, a hat, a lady's handbag, a handkerchief, a tie, maybe even a flower in your lapel. So accoutrements, it's like ancillary equipment, extra equipment for a soldier or in clothing and fashion. From then, from there, we move to accoutrements, meaning the apparatus needed for a task or a purpose or a journey. So the cameraman brought in his accoutrements and put them on the table. So extra lenses, lights, light meters, different things. Or maybe you could say he has a car, a mortgage and two kids all the accoutrements of modern life. And we also use, in a very similar way, accoutrements to talk about characteristics that identify something or someone, often superficial ones. So what would be the accoutrements of a doctor? Well, maybe a white coat and a stethoscope. Say, ah. Oh, what are the accoutrements of a chef? Maybe his hat and his knife and his white jacket. For Sunday lunch, it's very nice to have roast beef and, the, and its accoutrements, its trimmings. OK, so the accoutrements to roast beef, they're going to be uh, Yorkshire pudding, gravy, maybe peas and carrots, for example. Oh, yes, and roast potatoes. Yeah, if I said uh, Yorkshire pudding, roast potatoes, peas and gravy, you'd probably think of roast beef. They are identifying. Um, a kitchen and all its accoutrements, its equipment, the pots, the pans, the machines, the different things. So accoutrements are like extra equipment. OK, this word accoutrements comes from Old French, from accoutrer, meaning to clothe or equip. And I think it's related to another word in Old French, meaning to sew, yeah? to sew. Now, what about formality for accoutrements? I think this word sounds very posh and rather formal. I'd probably give it something like a seven in formality. I don't think I would suggest using accoutrements in a casual conversation in the pub. I think they're going to say what well, they're just going to think you're a bit weird. So something semi-formal, something literary, something very formal. These are good places to word, places to use the word accoutrements. Remember, in the plural. So a soldier's accoutrements, equipment that's not his clothes and weapons, 
clothing and fashion, things that you wear or carry, but not the main clothes. Accoutrements, the apparatus needed for a task, a purpose, or a journey. And also an identifying characteristic, often superficial. The doctor's white coat and stethoscope. So, there you go, accoutrements. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Accoutrements.